satisfied it's safe to do so. It's hoped some UK-bound flights will leave Sharm el-Sheikh tomorrow. They're currently suspended over government concerns a bomb may have caused Saturday's Russian plane disaster. Victoria Wilson flew back here hours before and disputes criticism of airport security there. We did the first passport control and we're walking on to the, the next part of the airport and we would sort of tap, no, 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 you've got to do it again. Sort of six feet further down from the first passport control, they do it again. Nothing was scrimped on, everything was checked twice. Drivers in parts of the UK could be fined £100 for doing 71 miles an hour on a motorway. Victoria Bourne reports. Bedfordshire's Police and Crime Commissioner came up with the idea to permanently turn on speed cameras on the county stretch of the M1 because of budget cuts. That could generate a million pounds and that's 25 police officers. Those are the alternatives that the, the government are forcing me to look at. Safety campaigners aren't happy. Claire Armstrong's from Safe Speed. They're going to literally use them as a cash machine to fleece the public who happen to go one mile an hour over the speed limit. Downing Street says any money raised would end up going to the government anyway. Unions say it's devastating news that construction of a new renewable energy plant in Tees Valley has been temporarily suspended. 700 people will be affected. The Bank of England says interest rates are unlikely to rise before the end of next year. The base rate's been kept on hold again at the record low of 0.5%. Real Madrid footballer Karim Benzema has appeared in court in France. It follows claims another player was blackmailed over a sex tape. And Tottenham midfielder Eric Dyer has made it into Roy Hodgson's England squad for this month's friendlies with Spain and France. He makes the step up from the under-21s after some impressive performances recently. That's the latest. I'm Annie Joyce. Hi, I'm Montel Williams. Most of you know me as a talk show host, but I'm also an author, actor, single father of four, avid snowboarder, and I'm also a medical marijuana patient. Living with multiple sclerosis, I'm in pain every day. Medical marijuana is my last resort, and it helps me when all other drugs have failed. If you'd like more information about medical marijuana, you can contact the Marijuana Policy Project at mpp.org or call 1-877-JOIN-MPP. MJWellness.com, the largest medical marijuana community in the world. Connect with thousands of patients, doctors, industry leaders, and businesses through shared personal experiences along our worldwide network. Discover new therapies and benefits with content tailored to you. Come grow your network on MJWellness.com. You're not alone. Your wellness matters. Learn, live, and thrive. Check out MJWellness.com today. Maui Wowie. Acapulco Gold. California Kush. Our strain stretch everywhere, too. This is the Cannabis Radio Network. This is the USA Radio Business Report. I'm Russ Jones. Want someone or something to respond to an email for you? Well, correspondent Larry Olson reports Google has a new bot response for that. The feature coming to Gmail's inbox email app will automatically suggest three short replies for incoming messages based on the context of the message. It works by scanning the incoming emails, then using machine learning to formulate a natural language reply. Google says the more you use the feature, the better its suggestions will become. I'm Larry Olson. Computer games company Activision Blizzard is set to buy the company that created Candy Crush. It's a deal worth almost $6 billion. Activision says the purchase of King Digital Entertainment will make it a global leader in interactive entertainment across multiple platforms. Powered by WesternJournalism.com, this is the USA Radio Business Report. I'm Russ Jones. USA Radio News. I'm Ron Taylor. U.S. intelligence officials reportedly believe an explosive link to ISIS brought down a Russian jet in Egypt over the weekend. U.S. officials have reported that intelligence supports the theory that a bomb planted in a piece of luggage or somewhere else on the plane likely down the metro jet flying from Egypt's Sharm el-Sheikh resort to St. Petersburg in Russia last weekend. An ISIS link grouped in Egypt called the Sinai province claim responsibility for the crash that killed more than 220 people. The ISIS affiliate has been waging a bloody insurgency in the north 
of the Sinai Peninsula that has killed hundreds of policemen and civilians so far. I'm Joe Gomez. The fallout is just beginning now that the death of an Illinois police officer has been ruled a suicide. Authorities say Fox Lake police officer Charles Joseph Glenovitz staged his own death on September 1st to cover up years of embezzlement. And now there's word that his wife and son are under investigation in connection with his crimes. Also, an organization that helps survivors of officers killed in the line of duty wants its donation back from Mrs. Glenovitz. You're listening to USA Radio News. Did you know the government is scheming to seize your retirement and bank accounts? Hi, David Fisher, CEO of Landmark Capital Gold Group. Get the facts in a white paper called How to Protect Your Retirement and Bank Accounts from Government Seizure. Transfer your 401k or IRA into physical gold and silver and take possession with no tax liability. Call Landmark Capital at 844-879-8882. That's 844-879-8882 or LandmarkGold.com. Don't miss Kohl's Veterans Day weekend sale this Friday and Saturday. Take $10 off your purchase of $25 or more. That's on top of already great savings, like 40 to 60% off sweaters, outerwear, and boots for the whole family. Plus, everyone gets $10 Kohl's cash for every $50 spent this Friday and Saturday at Kohl's. Select styles, some exclusions apply. See store or kohls.com for details. Arizona senators are fuming over so-called paid patriotism. USA Radio News' Melody Burkett has more. Arizona senators say the Department of Defense has been paying pro sports teams to honor American soldiers. John McCain says paid military commercials don't belong at sporting events. We appreciate if they honor the men and women in uniform, but not to get paid for it. Senator Flake wonders what else the department's been hiding if they weren't transparent with this. When they say that there's no fat to cut anywhere, uh, when you look into these marketing contracts and find uh, activities like this that are being paid for, it makes you question uh, that as well. A report is out titled Tackling Paid Patriotism that details the millions going to things like tickets and luxury boxes. In Phoenix, I'm Melody Burkett. NASA has big news about Mars today. The space agency will present new findings on Mars' atmosphere this afternoon. NASA isn't dropping any hints about the announcement, other than to say that it will announce specific findings from its ongoing exploration of the Red Planet. You're listening to USA Radio News. Individuals and businesses with tax problems. Listen carefully. If you owe over $10,000 in back taxes or have unfiled tax returns, U.S. Tax Shield can help you take back control. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, garnish your paycheck, close your business, and file criminal charges. Our team of tax attorneys can stop collections and get you protected. U.S. Tax Shield offers a price protection guaranteed quote to get you protected today. U.S. Tax Shield is A-plus rated with the BBB, so call 800-479-2697. U.S. Tax Shield, 800-479-2697. It's not uncommon to see babies using electronic devices these days. Dr. Kim Giuliano with the Cleveland Clinic says it's important to remember that the same parenting rules apply in the real and virtual worlds. Know what your child is doing. Know who your child is with. Teach them to be kind. Teach them to be safe. And play with your child in that environment so that you know what's going on. The American Academy of Pediatrics recently refreshed their screen time advice to reflect more contemporary media usage. Instead of limiting a child's screen time to two hours per day, they now recommend setting reasonable limits and making sure the content is high quality. Research shows that very young children learn best through two-way communication because it helps their brain and language development. Dr. Kim Giuliano with the Cleveland Clinic says parents need to lead by example when it comes to technology. If they're checking their work emails on their smartphones and looking at the computer themselves, then it really sends a conflicting message to their child. And so parents should make cautious um, use of their electronic time as well. In addition to November, this month is also being called Movember. It's all in an effort to bring awareness to men's health by not shaving. It started as an idea by a group of drunk Australian friends back in 2003 to try and get the mustache back in fashion. But now, 12 years later, the organizers have some purpose behind their Don't Shave Edict to bring awareness to prostate cancer and other health issues. Shave or not shave. Lisa G., New York. I'm Ron Taylor, and this is USA Radio News. Your connection to quality cannabis insurance services is spelled K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R. That's Karcher Insurance. We have worked with ventures like cannabis for over 60 years. We're proud to represent over 50 companies with tailor-made cannabis business plans for owners just like you to insure your product, your plants, and your pursuits. K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R spells out their full-service insurance services ranging from commercial 
commercial to bonds to personal from life to health and more. Contact the team at CarterInsurance.com and let our experience work for you. That's K-A-E-R-C-H-E-R Insurance.com. Contact Karen and the team at Karcher Insurance at 1-844-421-3560. That's 844-421-3560. Cannabis Confidential with Dr. Dina. Candid. I want to give you the inside story. Captivating. I want to introduce you to my kind and amazingly talented friends. Compelling. We get to meet some of the most amazing cannabis activists and warriors around. Listen in as medical marijuana pioneer Dr. Dina shares never before heard stories, chats with cannabis insiders and celebrity friends, and provides invaluable perspective and insight into one of the fastest growing industries in the world. I want to share with you what was once confidential information. Let's expose the truth, discuss the issues, and learn the facts. Cannabis Confidential, only on CannabisRadio.com. USA Radio Sports, I'm Tammy Rose. Steve Curry scored 31 points as the Warriors cut down the Clippers 112-108 to in a seesaw affair in Oakland. Warriors head coach Luke Walton says Curry overcame a lot to have a big night. Uh, had a couple shots that, that he normally hits didn't go and, you know, when we really needed him most, he stepped up for us, and he just he made huge plays. The defending NBA champions improved to a 5-0 and and handed the Clippers their first loss of the season. LeBron James scored 23 points and tore two sleeves as the Cavaliers rallied for a 96-86 win over the Knicks. James says they grinded out the win. We did it again tonight by you know, finally playing, you know, walking down defensively, uh, locking down contested shots. This is USA Radio News Powered by westernjournalism.com. Warning, if you or a loved one are struggling with drugs and alcohol, there's something you need to know. Thoughts like, I can stop anytime, I'm not hurting anyone, it's my life, are lies. These lies cause you to drink or get high even when you've promised yourself or someone else you wouldn't. You may feel all alone, but you're not. We're here to help. Take the first step. Call us today at 800-461-3329 for a free no-obligation assessment. Your insurance may even cover the full cost of treatment. Please don't wait. Call 800-461-3329. If nothing changes, nothing changes. Call American Drug Treatment Centers to speak with our trained staff. We'll walk you through getting yourself or a loved one into treatment even if they won't admit there's a problem. The truth is, drugs and alcohol want you dead. Don't let them win. One simple call will start you on the road to recovery. Call 800-461-3329 now. It will be the best thing you ever do. Call 800-461-3329. 800-461-3329. Giants defensive end Jason Pierre-Paul could make his much-anticipated season debut against the Buccaneers this Sunday. JPP hasn't played since injuring his hand in a fireworks accident on the 4th of July, but he believes he can return to Pro Bowl form. Coming off of any, any, any injury, come off any injury, um, you just got to go out there and have that confidence, you know. I got to feel confident in myself, shoot my hand, and, and doing what I do best. Royals all-star left fielder Alex Gordon declined his $13.75 million player option and will be a free agent for the first time. He spent his entire nine-year career with Kansas City after being drafted second overall in 2005. Gordon hit 271 with 13 home runs and 48 RBIs in 104 games during the regular season and hit a tying homer in the ninth inning of Game 1 of the World Series as the Royals. 